Battlebit Remastered has taken the Steam world by storm. It gives players an array of weapon and gadget types, massive 256 player lobbies, and above all that, features an almost fully destructible map. If you're new to Battlebit Remastered, or just need some tips to hone your large scale battle skills, then we've got you covered. Here are 12 tips and tricks to get you started in Battlebit Remastered. Every time you join a new lobby, you'll need to set your loadout for each class. This includes picking armor, helmet, guns, attachments, and even what belt you're wearing. Each wearable item changes your capability in the loadout, whether allowing you to carry more ammo, equip protective armor, or even add additional secondary item uses. Another option is to forego all the extra gear and go for speed. Removing protective armor and equipping a lighter backpack increases your movement speed considerably. You won't be able to take as much damage or carry as much ammo, but you're going to be a much harder to hit target if you like a more run and gun playstyle. The range of options available can sometimes be a bit overwhelming, but it's entirely worth taking the time to dial in your preferences. At a minimum, make sure your primary weapon has something other than the iron sights, if you have the option. In Battlebit Remastered, you can destroy almost any structure. Enemy holding a building? Bring it down. Squad holding a hard angle? Destroy that cover. Need a door? Make one. The Assault, Recon, and Leader classes even have a sledgehammer or pickaxe weapon for all your wall opening needs. C4 is the king of opening buildings for you and your assault team. With a standard 4 C4 charges and a ridiculous throw range, no one is safe from the C4 breach. Knock knock. When everything is destructible, sometimes the best thing to do is build a new wall. Walls can provide defense for your team, create separation for a revive, or even protect an objective. Every class can build, so there's little reason to not place some cover, especially since you can move, heal, and revive all while building. Concrete walls can be placed instantly, whereas the sandbags and box walls do require a bit of construction time. Walls are useful for more than just protection. Did you get a little too C4 heavy and destroy the stairs? Build a wall to help you mantle up. You can even stack walls to reach greater heights. Nighttime missions in Battlebit Remastered are incredibly dark, making night vision goggles an absolute necessity. Night vision goggles make the usage of larger scopes on your primary weapons impossible, and you'll want a muzzle flash hider on your loadout so you aren't blinding yourself with every shot. You can also use the light sensitivity of the night vision goggles to your advantage since your enemy will be likely wearing them too. Tactical flashlights, flares, and flashbangs have incredible utility in the night missions for disorienting your enemies, effectively blinding the player through the monitor. That being said, we'd advise those that have flashing light sensitivities to absolutely avoid this mode. One of the most versatile classes in Battlebit Remastered is the Engineer. With the largest available primary weapon armory, most diverse gadget selection, and access to RPGs, the Engineer has a tool for any and every situation. The Engineer is the only class with specific anti-vehicle equipment, including mines, grenades, and RPGs, all designed around destroying high-armor mechanical targets. If you're on a large map with a lot of tanks, helis, APCs, or other vehicles, an Engineer on the squad is an absolute necessity. The Engineer is also incredibly capable of handling large groups of enemies with fragmentation RPG types. Less effective against walls and armor, but absolutely capable of eliminating groups of enemies. Unlike most arcade shooters, when you reload a gun in Battlebit Remastered, any ammo remaining in the magazine is lost. That is, until you take time to consolidate your ammo. Default is holding the P key into your remaining magazines. Doing this can ensure your next or last reload has the maximum amount of ammo available. You can even do this on the move, so stretch across that keyboard, or rebind the key, load those magazines, and stay mobile. In the current meta, SMGs are seeing a lot of usage. Selecting loadouts with additional armor is incredibly effective against the small arms fire and allows you to survive additional shots in those close quarters battles. If you're having trouble outgunning or keeping up in those firefights, you can certainly outlast them with armor. Customize your armor selection in the character screen and use higher durability pieces. The support class has the highest possible armor value with a base durability of 99, and the support class exo helmets will block high caliber headshots from any range. 
Remember, more armor will make you slower, so try to find a good balance you enjoy and find effective. It will always be faster to swap to your secondary weapon in a firefight than reloading your primary weapon. Those precious moments can be the difference between coming away with no eliminations and making a dent for your squad to finish the job. Not to mention, the secondary weapons in Battle Bit Remastered are surprisingly effective. Not only is it fun and occasionally hilarious, it's just about the only way to tell your teammates you're in need of assistance. You'll need to opt in to the voice chat options in the audio settings and adjust the volumes as desired. Keep in mind, using the general area voice chat means that everyone, including the enemy, can hear you. You can also communicate directly to your squad without being overheard in the nearby area. In these incredibly large and chaotic battles, using your communication options is about the only way to coordinate any effective attack or defense. You'll notice a little number in the bottom left of your screen tallying up the successes of your squad into points. These points allow you and your squad mates to build walls, call in a resupply or air support, and drop new spawn points. Remember, these points are shared, even furthering the importance of constant communication with your team. At the same time, however, don't let these points go to waste. Accruing a ton of squad points doesn't mean a thing if no one uses them. It's always harder to hit a moving target, and in Battle Bit, you can continue moving while performing almost any action. So whether you're patching a bleed, reviving a teammate, healing, consolidating your ammo, building walls, or reloading, you can always be moving. There's no reason to make yourself an easy target during some of your most vulnerable moments in the game. The Medic class is one of the most team-oriented and self-sufficient classes in the game. Alongside being the only class capable of healing teammates to full health, they can also heal themselves all while sprinting around the battlefield. A single medic can sustain dozens of soldiers with some dedicated healing, ensuring a tough push or area hold is successful. They can also make risky solo flanking plays with their incredible survivability and self-heal. This ability to heal themselves makes them prime candidates for running lower armor loadouts and embracing the speed demon within. Equipping a medic with C4 and light armor makes them the fastest moving wall breaching unit in battle bit. But you're going to need to put on your dancing shoes and dodge some bullets, Neo. Battle Bit Remastered is a fast-moving, incredibly in-depth game. There is no right way to build your loadouts or soldier, so be sure to experiment with everything Battle Bit has to offer. For more on Battle Bit Remastered, make sure to head on over to IGN.com to check out our growing wiki. And of course, for everything else shooters, stick with IGN.